What's up, Interweb? Raikwin here, and uh, welcome to a brand new series, I guess. Uh, I haven't even come up with like a title for the series yet, I'm assuming you guys will see that, obviously, when you're watching the video. Uh, but this is just going to be a new thing I'm doing, I just I literally just tweeted about it, um, as it is right now, the 28th of June at 5.25pm. Uh, and I literally just tweeted about it, just saying, would people be interested in a kind of series where I, where I just sit down and I just chat for a bit? Uh, about whatever's going on in my head uh, and I'll just sit here and just talk for a little bit uh, maybe like once a week once every two weeks I have no idea uh, this is just gonna be like a test to see if see if I want to do it see if people enjoy it whatever it may be um, but yeah I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna call it right now but I just wanted to record this right now because reasons I felt like it I don't know um, yeah I hope you guys kind of enjoy this I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kick back I'm actually just gonna even like sit weird. I'm just gonna sit with my legs crossed because I can. I'm even gonna move this in. We'll get we'll get nice and close and personal. <laughs> this is already super weird. Um, but yeah. Also, I'm gonna be drinking chocolate milk because why not, right? You guys get to experience the first sip with me right here. <sighs> Beautiful. Um, but anyway. I just wanted to do this series just so I can, uh, I don't know. One, I want something on the channel that's not shiny highlights because that's basically all I do now is shiny highlights because I do, uh, I want to do the Ryquiz and Ryquin's Pokey Facts for the channel. Uh, but they take a long time. I still haven't finished making Ryquiz questions for the season and I want to get all the questions for the season done before we even start recording episodes. Uh, so there's a big delay on that one. Ryquin's Pokey Facts is... A lot. Uh, I have the second one recorded, the audio is recorded for it, but I haven't even got around to start editing that thing yet because it's just like a, I don't know, it just seems like a massive deal and I know I should break it down as like bite sized bits and just say I need to edit this bit today and this bit this day and this bit this day, but it just seems like just a massive project right now because it's a lot longer than the first one was. I think this one's more like 12 minutes as opposed to the first one was 8. Um, you might say oh, that's only 4 minutes, that's a lot of editing in those 4 minutes though, especially the amount of editing I put into Ryquin's Pokefax, that's a lot of editing. So considering that the Ryquiz and Ryquin's Pokefax take a long time to make, and I don't even know when I'm going to be doing them because as of late I haven't had any time slash motivation to work on those things at all, uh, they've been kind of stagnant for a long time. Um, and considering that I basically only upload shiny highlights now, I wanted something different where I just, you know, just talk to you guys for a little bit. Uh, and I also want to bring back parkour vlogs as well because they were fun. Uh, I think I'm kind of getting into the to the point now where I can go out to a training session and focus on the training while still making a vlog. I feel like it's kind of natural for me to be talking like this now as opposed to before. I kind of had to go out and had to think about right, I have to record this, have to have to be like this while I'm doing this parkour thing. But I feel like I, if I go go out training now and want to record a vlog while I'm there, I feel like I could do that. I feel like I've got the balance right now, so maybe, maybe, Parkour Vlogs will return at some point, uh, sometime soon, hopefully. But of course I'm going to need to edit those and that takes a little bit of time. But anyway, that's that's one of the reasons why I wanted this little series as well, just to break up the shiny highlights a bit because I don't just want my YouTube channel to be a place for my Twitch people to come to watch shiny highlights. That's not the only thing I want for my YouTube channel. Uh, I do eventually want Pokefax and Ryquiz, but like I said, they take a long time and they have been stagnant for a long time. Uh, so kind of linked with that. I think the thing I really want to talk about is just, I feel like I'm getting burnt out again uh, on everything, and that absolutely blows. Uh, I've experienced burnout way more than I should, um, but I can't help myself. That's the, that's, that's the worst thing, is I always feel like I can't help myself, because... This is going to sound really like cheesy and corny and stuff like that, but I feel like I have such a passion for doing this that if I get some free time, I'm gonna use that to do something related to Twitch or to YouTube or whatever. I never take time to relax because I always want to work on Twitch stuff, basically. For those of you that are unaware, I do I do Twitch streaming as my full-time job now, and I've been doing two streams every single day, apart from Saturdays when I'll stream in the morning. So I've been streaming every day, but I've been streaming once at 11 a.m. in the morning, hence a.m., good job me, and then once at 6 p.m. So the morning one will probably go for about three hours, 
and the evening one will go for about three to four hours, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, so that's obviously quite a lot of my day. That's six to seven hours of my day I'm spent streaming, and the in-between time between streams is not spent relaxing or just chilling in between streams because that's not that's not what I do. Uh, that time is spent doing other Twitch stuff, making layouts or something like that, or uh, just planning things out. There's a lot of time, I think, that people don't realize that goes into just just thinking about stuff. Uh, just planning things out in your head is really important, especially for me, uh, because of the way I work personally, is I have to have everything thought out. So a lot of that time is spent just like thinking about stuff, thinking about the progression, checking my analytics and stuff like that for Twitch, because I take Twitch really seriously. I don't know if people like know that, but I take Twitch really, really seriously. Uh, I have spreadsheets with so much information on them about all kinds of stuff. I have to keep track of how much was donated in a certain stream. Uh, and, you know, how many followers I got, what the maximum viewers were, if we got raided, who we got raided by, who we raided, what we were streaming, how long we streamed for, and I keep track of that for every single stream that we do throughout a day. And every single stream I do, I track it on this spreadsheet that I have, and it will be me studying that, studying, like, patterns, seeing what, what works well, why do we get so many follows in that stream, oh, it was because this person raided me, or it was because of this and that. And I try and think about what works, and trying to replicate what if I think about what was a good stream, what was a good stream for me, what what stream did I really like, I liked this one, um, what was good about this one, what made this one good, let's try and replicate that again because that was a really fun stream. So there's a lot of time between streams where I'm just thinking about stuff and planning and then the rest of the time I'm streaming. I'll be getting up at 7 or 8 a.m. every day, I will uh, you know, do householdy things, I will clean, I will do the dishes, have a bath, you know, the normal things people do, because that, that, that is a thing, I am a normal person as well, I'm not just some, some robot that can just stream all the time, I do have normal human things to do too, uh, so I've got to get up and do all my household stuff, get ready for the stream in the morning, start streaming at 11, um, which by the way, takes a long time to set up the stream as well, because I have like 1700 things that are open at the same time while I'm streaming. Which is, again, I think another thing people don't really realize. It's like, oh, you you open your OBS and you click stream and yay, off you go. No, 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 no. Uh, it takes me, I normally start setting up about 45 minutes before the stream starts. Maybe to an hour sometimes. Uh, and that just allows me to put on some music. And I have to open up OBS, make sure the layout's looking alright. Uh, think about what I'm going to be hunting. Normally it's going to be shiny hunting, so I think about what I'm hunting for that stream. Uh, and I will update my stream title to reflect that. I'll have to tweet out the stream to say, hey, we're going to be streaming in 30 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever it may be. Uh, try and get some hype going for it. I will uh, make sure my layout's looking good. Probably restart my session on my uh, things because those of you who are familiar with my streams uh, will see that I now have uh, automatic updates on the amount of followers we get per stream. And also I have a donation ticket. Any donations that come in, their names scroll along the bottom. Uh, so that's all automatic stuff, and if you restart the session, it kind of resets all of them to zero. So I have to open up my notifications, uh, reset, restart the session so they reset to zero, uh, make sure everything's okay on the layout, get my capture card software up, get the game on, plug the capture card in, uh, make sure I'm in the right place in the game for whatever hunt I'm doing. Uh, I have to open up my two spreadsheets that I've got, one of them which is my the one that I explained before with all the information on it, with all like my fan finances and you know all the viewers and uh, the... Subscribers have to keep a track of now because if you didn't know I have subscribers now uh, on Twitch Which is cool through a service called game wisp. I'll probably talk about that later um, I have to get that spreadsheet up and also my shiny spreadsheet which keep tracks of uh, Keeps track of every shiny that I found how many counters I got it in what method it was any notes about the thing And I also have on that same spreadsheet. I have the odds of every shiny hunting method in sixth gen That's another spreadsheet that I've made based off uh, a couple of informational videos that I've watched uh, so I get both of those, uh, sorry, something came up on my Twitter feed and is distracting me. So I get both of those spreadsheets up, uh, I have to get my playlist up, make sure the volume is at the right level in comparison to my voice, that usually involves some testing, so I'll preview my stream, I'll start talking. Normally as well, my mic messes up and lowers my mic volume for no reason, so I'll have to fix that first. Uh, put my mic volume back up. Find the right level for the volume. I'm starting to get the hang of it now, getting it to the right place every time now. 
uh, and then just get hype going. I have to make, uh, record a quick YouTube video that goes up on my channel every single time I go live to say, hey, I'm streaming, come hang out, upload that, uh, make sure the description's all right for that, schedule that, and then get some hype going. I have to plug it on my Discord uh, to say we're going to be streaming here in a few minutes. I have to, uh, as I said, make sure the stream title is okay, make sure the layout of everything is okay because I have just the one screen, I just have my laptop. So I need to uh, have my Twitch chat open, and then I need to have my OBS in the middle, which is right next to the to the Twitch chat, just enough so it doesn't block it off, so it's right next to it. And then I'll have my notifications in the bottom left corner, so that uh, they pop up just on the bottom. And then I'll have uh, the number so I can update the number of encounters for shiny Pokemon. That's a little separate sub uh, screen that will open up, pop up off OBS, which I have to move over to the top left, which covers the... Uh, which covers part of OBS and also covers part of the notifications, but I have the notifications in just the right place where I will be able to see, I believe it's four notifications that pop up, like follows, I can see the most recent four, and then I have my Twitch chat on the right, and just in the right space, in between the OBS, the notifications, and the Twitch chat, you can see right at the bottom, there's a little section where you have your current viewers, your total views on the channel, and your followers. So I have everything spaced out exactly right, so I can keep track of everything, and that layout also allows me to keep track of OBS, whether it's running smoothly and if we're dropping frames. So I have everything that's really convolutedly laid out on this one screen. I have to get all of that set up uh, for, you know, the whole thing. Uh, every single time I'm streaming, I have to get the whole setup done. And then I have to stream, which, you know, takes three hours normally, minimum, uh, and goes, goes to, uh, you know, it has to go for normally, I'll, I try three hours. And something that's really weird is obviously it takes a long time and I don't really rest as much as I should, I know that. But I can't help it because I, I love it. I love doing this and it sucks. I almost wish I didn't love it so much because then I could, I could switch myself off from it. Because even when I try and switch myself off, I don't. I tried today, like I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't stream this morning because I just was not feeling it in the slightest. Uh, really lacking motivation. It wasn't just like I'm being lazy. <laughs> uh, I could go on, on a whole rant about that one in just a second. Um, I just wanted some time away just to try and gather my thoughts a bit. And uh, and even when I tried to disconnect myself, I, I wasn't really looking at my phone. I tried to disconnect away from everything and just watch some wrestling. For those of you who know me, I'm a massive wrestling fan, massive WWE fan. So I just tried to disconnect, watch some wrestling, and even while I was doing that, I was still thinking about my streams. Which I shouldn't have been doing, because it still plays on your mind and all that stuff, but... Uh... I don't know. It, it's... I've studied burnout extensively. I studied it when I was at university. And it, it's, it's never... It's never like... I don't want people to think that I'm just being lazy or I'm just finding an excuse to not stream because I want to stream. That's the thing. It's not like, oh, I can't be bothered. Meh. Can't be asked. There's there's nothing that's gonna happen here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lay off as an excuse and I'll come back later. The people will still be there. Ah, oh, they'll be fine. No, it, it it sucks. It massively, massively sucks. Because I want to stream. I just physically can't, and that it, it's really hard to explain what's going through my head, but I just, I want to stream, I'm doing my usual thing, just trying to do my usual thing, and it just weighs on my mind massively, I'll just be setting up the stream, doing my own thing, like I did this morning, just try to set up my own stream, and just try to do the, my usual thing, and then all of a sudden it's just like, Nah, you don't want to do this. My brain's just telling me, like, nah, nah, you don't want to do this. It's like, no, I do. No, I definitely want to stream. This is my job and everything. I, I love doing this, brain. Can you shut up, please? That'd be, that'd, that'd be great if you could, like, stop telling me that. And your brain's just like, I could stop telling you that, but also, you suck and you shouldn't stream today. And it's just like, stop it. It's really annoying. It's so hard to put into words what it what goes through your head when you're thinking it, but like, I just, it's so frustrating, because I want to be able to stream as much as I do, and I know, I've been busting my ass for, 
10 months I've been doing this streaming thing now. Just over 10 months. It was the 24th of August last year when I started taking streaming seriously. I've been busting my ass for 10 months doing this. And I'm now reaching a point again where I'm getting burnt out. In combination with YouTube, this is like the fourth, fifth time, I think, that I've got burnt out. Which is ridiculous. You'd think I know I'd know better by now. But I never learned my lesson because I always just jump right back into it and say, hey, let's do two streams every day. But that's the thing is it worked. It worked. Doing two streams a day has been amazing. It's been really good. I've been seeing a gradual increase as of late, and it's amazing. I went when I started ten months ago, I was getting ten to twelve viewers per stream, and now it's becoming a regular occurrence where I will get fifty to seventy to every single stream, and that is ridiculous. I never thought I'd have that many people in my streams, but I'm it's so cool. Like it's so awesome to see regulars come out like that and that many regulars is ridiculous it's amazing and it really pisses me off honestly i'm gonna be i'm gonna be blunt it really pisses me off it pisses myself off that i can't continue this consistency that i've been having because i want to repay people for being awesome and coming out to my streams if people are starting to make it part of their regular thing well they'll come out to my stream i want to provide that for people you know and I just, I, I don't, because I, I don't know, because my brain doesn't let me, I guess. It's really, really annoying. I'm not going to lie, it's really annoying. And I don't want people to think that I'm just being lazy or taking the easy way out or whatever it may be. I just want to, I just want to stream, you know, I just want to stream. But my brain just says, nah, not today, man, not today, you don't want to stream. It's like, no, I do, please. But it won't let me. But... It is a genuine psychological thing. I studied it at university. Like I said, I studied burnout at university. It's not just a... Uh, it's not laziness. It's not taking the easy way out. It is a genuine psychological thing that happens. It co it, I studied it in relation to sport because I did a sports degree. Uh, and in my sports psychology module, I, I studied burnout with relation to sport and it can cause people to even leave the sport that they've been training for for you know 10 plus years or whatever if they burn out they could just leave the sport just quit just be like, no, I'm out done uh, and luckily I've never got to the point where I've wanted to stop doing this which is great but it could lead to that if I don't you know take measures I guess to to prevent that but I don't know it's just a complicated thing I don't really know how to solve it, which I should. Like I said, I've, I've studied it. I should know how to solve it, but I, uh, I don't really, because I can't help myself. I just want to stream. I just want to stream. That's all. I know. I don't know whether it's a combination of things, because I've been ill, as you guys can probably hear from my voice a little bit. I'm still a little bit bunged up, <laughs> a little bit ill still. So I don't know whether that's part of it, it's just making me tired and not want to stream, or it's just burnout, or whatever. I don't know what it is, but I'm hoping I can fix it at some point and get back on the grind because it's worth it. I've, I've been seeing the results of the grind as of late, and I love it. I love seeing progress. Like I said, I've got subscribers on my Twitch channel now. That's uh, I've already got 25 subscribers on my Twitch channel, which is absolutely insane. We're closing in on 4,000 followers. Which is just... Pff, what? That number is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I, I don't know. I just... I've been seeing the results, we're having more regulars, more people come back to every single stream now, and it's just been having loads of fun in my streams, and I'm just burning out, which is just the worst timing, really, just the worst timing, and I'm hoping I can fix it, and I'm hoping uh, videos like these where I can just sit down and just chat about whatever's on my mind, uh, 
will help with that in a way. I really hope it does help. Um, another thing that's happened, I guess, as of late is I've opened up uh, commissions. Now doing layouts and thumbnails for people. Um, I'm assuming link will be down below in the description. Make sure to go click it and check it out, etc. Um, but, um, yeah, so I'm now doing layouts and stuff for people. I've already done one for um, Carson, Toxin Gaming. Uh, I've done one for him. I'm about to do one. I'm streaming in about 15 minutes' time. Uh, I've already got everything set up for the stream, by the way. All that stuff that I mentioned before. I've already got that set up for the stream, but I just decided to record this first. And, uh... <clears throat> I'm making one for Eric Ashton Akai in, in 15 minutes' time. And, uh... Then I'm doing another one for Alex, onesie Bayonet on Thursday. Thursday's stream should be cool. I don't know when this is being uploaded, by the way, guys, so I don't know if this is completely going to be in the past, or it'll be, like, tonight, or whatever. But, uh, hey-ho. Is what it is. Uh, so that's another exciting thing that's happening. And I do enjoy that. It's giving me more stream content. I can stream something different that's not shiny hunting. Or the Platinum Shiny Badge Quest. Whatever it may be. Um, but that, that's exciting stuff. I'm really looking forward to that. I feel like I'm improving as a graphics artist. I still don't consider myself an artist. It's a weird, weird, weird thing. Because I can't draw. That's the thing. I cannot draw to save my life. Like, not even a little bit. I can do digital stuff okay-ish, I guess, which is why I'm doing layouts, but drawing? Nope. No, no, no. No, no, no. 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 And no. I can't do that. So it's always weird. I was like, oh, you're doing art. It's like, mm. I don't know. It's, it's, it's still a weird, uh, weird transition, I guess, to not consider myself an artist, but be taking commissions. It's a little bit weird, but... I do what I can. Um, yeah, I've kind of just had a revamp of my entire streams as of late. Got those Twitch subscribers, opened up the uh, the commissions, and uh, made myself a brand new layout, which I really, really like. I'm really proud of my layout that I've made for myself. And uh, everything's just been going great as of late on my Twitch streams. Which is why this whole burnout thing really sucks. Honestly, it really sucks. Uh, but more exciting news, I guess. I've already been rambling for 23 minutes. This video is going to be long. Um, I'm actually going to be moving. Going to be moving flats. Um, I should be moving in six days. Christ. Probably should get packing at some point. Um, going to be moving in six days into a new flat. And uh, I'm actually moving in with a friend of mine, Richie, who... Uh, who I roomed with at EGX last year, Richie15000, he doesn't really upload anymore, but he's a cool guy. I uh, roomed with him at EGX last year, and he's moving down to Nottingham, so we're going to move into a flat together, which is really exciting. I'm really looking forward to that. I uh, should be moving in, in in about six days. Um, but... It's also kind of stressful at the same time. It's another thing that's kind of playing on my mind. And that I still have application forms that need doing and I didn't wait on Richie to get his back to me as well and I know there's just lots of things playing around my head and of course as always the ever ever present thing of money issues that's just a constant a constant uh, stress and worry as it always is of just not having a enough to live that's just a constant thing now I've kind of become used to that I'm just stressing about money but It'll write itself at some point, I hope. I could fix it if I wanted to, by going and getting a job. Uh, I know that. Which is why I try not to complain about money issues, because I know this is my own choice. It's my own fault. Why I'm having this, this, these money issues. Because I'm choosing to make streaming my job. When I don't really have a big enough channel to make it my job yet. It's weird, I always think like... I always feel like I'm so close at making... Well, Twitch streaming already is my job, but I feel like I'm so close at making it enough for me to be financially stable. I always feel like I'm really close. And then... Something will happen and then... Oh, wait. No. That... It's not anymore. 
like I thought way back when. I got raided by A-Drive and I was like, ah yeah, this is it. This is going to be it now. This is going to be the, the final thing in, in, uh, in, in March. Uh, I made my announcement that I was going full time. And that 24-hour stream was absolutely ridiculous. Insane amounts, of, insane amounts of support, and uh, and there were like 150 people at the end of the stream when I made that announcement that I was going full time. 150 people in the stream, and uh, that wasn't the time where I became financially stable. Even though I said it was full-time job now, uh, but I've been seeing a lot more people come to the streams as of late. As I said, I've already got 25 subscribers on my channel, which is awesome. That's like a regular monthly thing. Not enough for, like, rent or anything yet, but, you know, it's something to start with. So I just hope at some point it'll happen where I can where I can proudly say that, hey, Twitch is actually my job now, and I'm financially stable. I can say... Although I hate using this phrase, I've made it. I don't mean made it in terms of fame, I mean made it in terms of financial stability. Because that for me is a pretty big life goal. The day I can say I'm financially stable will be like, yay, life is complete now. Um, so hopefully that'll happen at some point. Just gotta continue the grind, I guess. And just as a fair warning as well, not all of these are going to be as depressing as this. I realize this is very much me just kind of rambling about my thoughts right now. Future ones will just be me talking about what's happened this week or something that's on my mind, something I saw on Twitter or something, whatever it may be. Um, they're not all going to be as rambly and as depressing as this. I just felt like this is something I wanted to do right now because I wanted to just talk. Um... I'm sure there's other things I wanted to talk about that I'm forgetting, but I've already been talking for nearly 28 minutes, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end that off right here. Uh, so thank you guys for sticking, sticking through this with me. And uh, I know I there, there won't, obviously won't be much to look at. It's just me sitting here talking. So I think for future weeks I will recommend people to tab out and just listen. I have always wanted to kind of do that, just kind of like a, a podcasty type thing. Uh, just so... I don't know, people have always said I have a good voice for podcasts and stuff like that. I kind of want to explore that a little bit. And if people can tab out and still enjoy what they're listening to, then... Yay, this would be a kind of a test run, I guess, for that. And, and see if people enjoy this kind of stuff. But I'll see how it goes. Um, so I guess thank you for watching slash listening to this uh, to this first uh, this this pilot episode of whatever the hell the series is going to be called. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed. I guess, uh, and I'll be back in future weeks when I'm not so depressing, when I'm not talking about burnout and all the negativity going on right now. When I'll hopefully be talking about more positive stuff. When I'll be talking about excitement and yay, etc. But yeah, I guess thank you for watching guys, and hopefully I shall see you guys in another video sometime soon. Or in a stream. Whenever I may see ya. Toodaloo.